Well, up in this valley, we like to get out and do some adventurous things. Go out there, ski, snowboard, hike, raft, all that. But we also like to be a little bit intellectual up here. That's why I'm happy to have Claire Noble from the Vale Symposium in the studio with me. Claire, how are you doing this morning? I'm doing great, Eric. Thanks for having me on. Yeah. You know, we at the Vale Symposium like to think that we convene locally, but we're thinking globally. And we design programming for people who are intellectually curious, who are, you know, and we, we're looking for programming that's thought provoking. So this week is our geopolitical doubleheader. We only do this once a year, although a lot of our programming is around geopolitics. But we really dive in deep on a particular area or subject, and this week it's Asia. And so this is a chance to kind of go beyond the, the sound bites on the, the evening news and really hear from experts. So first up, we've got Brad Setzer. And when we asked this guy to come last summer, he was a trade specialist. We had no idea what was going to happen between trade in the United States and Asia. Quite so a relevant guest It now. <laughs> kind of looks like we were really planning ahead and we had this you know, vision of what was going to go down, but we didn't, but we're so glad he is coming to talk about trade. And because it really dominates the headlines. And so he's really gonna be able to give us some insight. The other guy, first night, is John Pomfret. And John Pomfret went to China for college back, he was one of the first American students to go over there in the 80s. He was going to Nanjing University. And he was there during the run-up to the Tiananmen Square Massacre, knew some of the student leaders, was kicked out of the country after Tiananmen Square, but then years later went back as the Beijing bureau chief for the Washington Post. So this is a guy who's been on the ground and really seen the change in China over the last several decades. And then the second night, we have Joanna Cow. She's with the International Republican Institute. And what they do is really kind of democracy building. And so she's on the ground in some of these other smaller countries that you never hear about, like Timor, helping them put on elections and build democracies. And then finishing everything out is going to be Jamie Metzl. He's a futurist, he's with the Atlantic Council. Um, 